Hey movie fans, how y'all doing? Just a quick video of my review and thought on the new uh, Eternals trailer that recently dropped the other day. I think it was on Monday when it dropped. Uh, give my honest thoughts on it and my opinion. Uh, my opinion is not right or wrong and neither are yours. Uh, so yeah. Uh, first of all, once again, I won't be doing a reaction because I've noticed over channel it, the trailer's out there. So if you want to go and watch it, go and put it in Eternal's trailer, and it'll come up on YouTube. Uh, and I've noticed a lot of other people who have done reactions on their channel have had strikes or claims already. Uh, I think YouTube are uh, coming down hard on strikes at the minute uh well anyway uh i must admit i don't know much about the eternals uh a bit like i didn't know much about guardians of the galaxy and i love that film i thought it was quite outstanding in my opinion that particular uh movie in the mtu uh, I mean, the trailer looked fine. I mean, it was only a teaser, but it was uh, just over two minutes long. Uh, like I said, there's one or two songs in there that people are getting claimed for due to copyright. That's why I'm not doing the, a reaction of it. Excuse <coughs> me. So, you know... Will this be a flop? Could this be the first MCU flop? Well, you can't really tell from a trailer, can you? Really. Uh, my opinion, if you... You can't really judge it from a flop. I mean, I think everyone was hoping Captain Marvel would be a flop and that made a, bil a billion dollars at the box office. Uh... All I know about these characters, they're celestial beings, they've got like powers, a bit like gods. Uh, and in the trailer it says they've been there waiting and watching. I think the main question everybody be, is asking, if they've been here all this time watching, where were they when Thanos was doing his snap, killing everybody? So, and obviously the other question that needs to be answered, which came up in the trailer, who's now going to lead the Avengers now as Iron Man and Steve Rogers have gone. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. It looks really, really interesting, I must admit. Uh, like everybody else, I'll be at the cinema or the theater, movie theatre in line, just like everybody else to go and watch it. Uh, obviously, the Marvel stuff are being pushed back a bit. We've got uh, oh, Black Widow coming out in a few weeks, uh, which will be interesting to see. Uh, I mean, we haven't had much from the Marvel movies. We've had the uh, shows. Uh, I thought One Division was pretty good. I enjoyed that. I haven't seen Falcon and Winter Soldier yet. I'll binge watch that and then we've got Loki in a few weeks so I think the MCU will do well and then we've got uh, Chang-Chi coming which I'm really looking forward to seeing another diverse film bringing in the MCU so for me uh, these films that are coming in the MCU in the next uh, six months or so will look very uh, interesting, like I said, a lot of diverse, which is really good. It's what we need in movies these days. Uh, and yeah, we interested in your thoughts on the trailer. Did you like it, or was it, or as you would say, did it suck? Is it not what you expected? Uh, with it being a teaser, did you give it a lot away, which... I think if you want to give a lot away in a teaser trailer, you're not going to watch it, are you, really? Uh, for me, when it comes to teaser trailers, I just want to know what's going on, when and why, and then leave the rest until 
I buy my ticket at the movie theater and find out what happens in the film. There's no point watching the trailer and then it all gets spoiled before you even walk into the theater. So we'll leave it there for now. Um, give me your thoughts on the trailer. We'll leave your thoughts and comments in the comment box below. Uh, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and I'll see you all again soon. Well, bye for now.